what's up hey how you doing it's your girl alicia and of course this is least of financial freedom where we discuss all things money on today's episode i will be discussing a few ways to go about freshening up your home on the dime you may have actually seen or heard about this trend or hack and i want to let you know that it most definitely works and this is how you get more bang for your buck if you are in fact a candle person any person like me we love our candles you know we constantly light the candles for whatever reason it doesn't have to be a special occasion we just like the aroma the warmth and the comfort that the candles bring however once we have lit the candle over and over and over of course the wick is just it's gone it's vanished we have literally burned it to wick like barracuda however there is a way that you can still salvage a little bit of candle wax that is um, left. This is the little candle wax. However, there is a way in which you can actually get more bang for your buck. If you were to actually go about burning or melting all of the wax that is left in your jar or candle holder you can go ahead and instantly pour that into your wax burner and bada boom bada bing you're still getting that same loving scent and fragrance floating throughout your home you can constantly burn it over and over and over and you know you really got to completely utilize your candle because sometimes and you know depending on the make of the candle and the jar that it's in it can be about an inch or two left of actual candle wax left within the container but there's no way for you to actually go about utilizing that candle so again you can go about melting this and then pouring into your wax burner and then that way you can go about getting that nice fragrance um floating throughout your home that loving aroma um, another method, if you don't want to do that, you can actually, you know, melt the wax and then put it into some kind of mold, um, any mold that you like. And in turn, you can have those little pieces for, you know, later down the line, if you like, instead of just instantly pouring it into your wax burner. Another method is to actually freeze the candle. And then once it is frozen, you would go about, you know, creating chunks if you will and that's what i've done um i just took like an old um sharp tool and you know broke this into pieces and in turn i put this into my wax burner and i am able to enjoy my favorite candles although i am no longer able to light the candle another way to go about freshening up your home on dime is to buy these no i am not a sponsor and this is not an affiliate program however i want you to know these last longer than the cans that we typically buy, um, the larger cans. These are actually for the dispensers. And you know, it only dispenses a little spray of this mm, every so often. I can't say exactly the time frame because there are various settings. However, the reason for that is, is because this actually lasts longer than the other cans. That's why you only have to dispense only but so much during a certain duration of time. And as you notice, it typically freshens up your home or that area in which you have that dispenser, that diffuser, and the scent, you know, it lasts for a pretty long time. So what you can do is actually just buy these, forget the dispenser, and just spray this as if you would the regular air freshener. However, you don't have to use as much because this is very potent and it and you know the scent lasts longer. So that's another way. And of course, we all know the different hacks where you can go about getting you a pot with a little bit of water, a little bit of fabuloso or some Mr. Clean, putting it on the stove and that will most definitely freshen up your home. However, those are three different tips to go about freshening up your home on a dime. I hope that helps. Please leave any comments if you know other ways to go about freshening up your home in a very inexpensive way. I most definitely appreciate you guys. Please stay safe and continue to tune in.